Good morning, folks. This is Jeff. Today is the day we put uh, grid power onto our solar power building. Uh, we've got our electrical service power disconnected up the pole, so everything here is dead. Zach is uh, working at taking out the uh, the old meter service feeder and we're going to be connecting this new cable this thousand dollar cable back up uh, we're going to run some conduit down here in the ground then it's going to be direct burial and that cable is already connected inside my new utility main panel we got to do a little grounding right here gonna change something up right here got a couple ground got two 10 foot ground rods driven on either side of uh, this container and then it's going to come up to this ground bridge and ground this panel and also I'm gonna run a ground inside the building to tie all the equipment and battery frames together and then it will also tie into the ground that I'm going to be taking out to my grid I mean my PV array which is going to be sitting way off out there now the power will come in here to the line side of this panel and then back out through this uh, feed through lug into this manual transfer switch on the top side. Sorry, I'm not used to using this camera, uh, at least for videos. And then we'll come out on the load side right here, down this pipe, go back in the ground, and then it's gonna feed into the line side or the input side of this automatic transfer switch which will also take power from the generator. Now the generator is not running right now because we got to take a bunch of stuff loose uh, so we can get the wire out. And once we get that, the old service cable out of that automatic transfer switch, we're gonna temporarily hook it back up, turn the generator on so the, the good wife will be happy for an hour or so before we have to kill it again. <clears throat> but this will allow me to uh, get power into my building through this 200 amp breaker here uh, and that will feed the inverters and this switch here allows me to switch strictly to the grid or if I flip it down it will take power from the inside from the inverters and send back to my house so if I have a problem with all my inverters, something goes down, I can flip this switch up, which is the current position, the grid position, and then I'm back on power as if I didn't have a solar system. When I'm down, I'll be running through my inverter system. But it's a lot of work to do today, but it's nice and cool, and I got some extra help, so we got to get her done. <laughs> 